Hi, I'm Alice Bull from ScrapHappy.org, and I am at the Emerald Creek Crafts booth with Kim Evans. And Kim, you have some really cool new things happening right now, and I'm dying to know about it. We are really finding our groove. I think this year we have a lot of new stuff unique to the industry, new to the industry, things people haven't done so it's not a duplicate and we're really excited for where we our feet have landed this year. We're quite happy and we couldn't have done it without the support of everyone so we're just really grateful for you all. Thank you people! <laughs> There's no point in doing it if you aren't there so thank you so much for being there. Awesome. So what are we going to look at first? <laughs> okay, so first we're going to start with our green packaging. For those who recall, we used to sell everything in the jars. We are now switching to our recyclable and compostable packages. The labels, everything is going to go this way. Um, we also have the wheat straw bowl that's compostable. We have a bamboo spoon and I'm going to feature the Rita spoon. Um, so things that last, they have a lot of staying power and when you do decide to get rid of them, they can be used either in your artwork, they won't hurt the environment if you throw them out. So that spoon comes like that? It comes just like that. It is, I it's know. So pretty. <laughs> it is Rita's absolutely, it was so cute how she had found it at a, kind of like a flea market kind of thing. Okay. She had spotted this once and she bought one and she wanted to see if we could actually get it and still have it and be able to sell it. So we were, and we love the spoon. Um, these ones were brought out because we know that the packaging would be hard for some people to use when it comes to embossing powder. And we wanted to give you all a option so you can pour a whole package of powder into here. It's easy to manipulate. You can use the spoon within the package. You can use the spoon in the bowl. Uh, we just want to make it easy, especially for our friends who maybe suffer from arthritis or joint pains and things to keep it simple because we know that this is a different format that people weren't used to. Okay, that's exciting and good for the world, right? It's good for Green the world. packaging. Yes. And I imagine it's a lot better for shipping. It, it is a lot better for shipping. They are 30% lighter. They fit in letter mail envelopes. So we can cut down a lot of the extra expense that people have been suffering from. We want to make sure your pocketbook matters to at least us, and we all hate paying high shipping fees, so we, <laughs> we really, really attack the shipping. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so what kind of cool new crafty things do you have for us? So we'll start with the modern gilding, because I know a lot of people just lit up and we're super excited. Modern gilding is designed for the brush lettering um, and the lettering artists. It is super fine powder and up until now there has never been on the market pastel metallics. We have created pastel metallics in a soft mint and a soft purple and a soft pink and they coordinate with Suzanne's other colors. We have a, a deep teal, a deep pink and a deep uh, purple. So for her then you can let her if you put your stuff on her die and you put it over top of a background you can have both colors and you'll actually be able to read things now and it's very fine detail it'll grab everything that is so cool and that is so pretty <laughs> thank you um, next we have aromas because everybody loves aromas so I'm gonna let Alice be like the sniffer okay we, <laughs> we'll put my nose to the test we have a three florals and three soda pop collection the soda pop collection are a shimmery metallic the floral collection is a solid but great for your floral cards. Okay. So this one is the lilac. That smells like lilac. It smells like lilac. Oh, I love lilac. <laughs> uh, me too. Um, inspired by my backyard. And then we have the grape delicious. Oh, that smells so good. Isn't that nice? Like when you're crafting and you get this bonus little like scent it makes me think of my child it was my smelly markers yes and that just it is extra fun it's super fun <laughs> and for the cards you can send roses to your family members your moms your grandmothers uh, people who are suffering from illnesses you send their sympathy card and you don't have to send flowers anymore it'll actually smell like flowers for a couple months six months so a card will do it all for you when you're on a budget that's really cool um, Next we have the new bead collection, so I'm going to try and open these without spilling. I'll bring it down for everybody, don't worry. So we have these new beads. These ones actually aren't as ivory as this showed up. 
but we have an elephant bead and this is a spiced mix for Gwen Lafleur. All our glass beads, there's a variety of bugles, seed beads, uh, gem kind of quarry beads, all precious, semi-precious stones, that was the word I was looking for. Um, below it we have the Ooh. lapis lazuli and I really like this one because we got these really cute fish because Gwen <laughs> is a fish fishaholic I think she loves designing with them and when she presented this bead I was all over that I thought it was like, just yes, fun absolutely yes <laughs> and then we also have the Turkish mix where it's the blacks the bronzes and and this one I really like because we've got these really cute I'm gonna try and I don't know if you can zoom in on it, but these really cute little flower beads. Oh, We're going to, hang on, let me switch. <laughs> don't get distracted by my notes. <laughs> that is so cute yeah. and so, yeah, cute little flowers. So we're really excited to have the new beads in the collection. Um, we also have her gemstones. We've changed everything to be hanging packaging. Okay. So the gemstones have now moved from the old jars. We're going to have them in clamshell boxes that look really pretty and presentable. Okay. Uh, I can't remember where I'm at. Brain dead. Moment. We'll cut this. We'll cut this. It's fine. We'll move on right? to the whatever you Here we want go. to next. Cut, Do you want to put cut. the lid on this? Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. I couldn't find I couldn't no. see it at first. Okay. Before <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like... I'm like, just before we move on, sh there okay. goes the beads. <laughs> So let's just do a little scooch so I have a little more room. And you're going to have to walk for the last part. Okay. We have Pam Bray and her Rock Candy collection. It's a Colors of 12. And everyone has been ecstatic about this because for the mixed media artists, if we can get, I don't know if I can tip it so you can really see the oh, texture. Oh my goodness. It is chunky. It has like little rocks it looks like little rocks in it and it's sparkly and shiny and they're super the fun <laughs> so this is a three-step process but it comes in one bag cool. you don't have to do layers of different things you put your ink down you do your first heat then you're going to reheat and apply ink apply ink then reheat and then start sprinkling them on heat them and then do one more layer to get the good bright color rich color and quality of stone that you're going to want on there yeah. So we do like those a lot. That's really fun and really pretty. It has mega effect. <laughs> it has mega effect. Um, and I guess the last thing, oh, no. Yeah, we're going to skip some of it because I could be here for hours for you. But I am going to give you a sneak peek of April's release. And they're in my pocket because I am going under patent. But I have these beautiful cake paints there's eight and I've misplaced one so I'm not gonna put that down they're very jewel toned they're jewel tone named and these are heat set watercolors and so you're gonna use them in a fashion like this where you can layer but if you notice there is no more bleeding into the other parts of the project mm -hmm. you can watercolor shade as much as you want when you're done you heat set it and then you begin your next color and that way you don't get the bleeding and you can do your embossing powder layers for the technique that we use in a lot of Seth classes. Um, you can go right over top of it and you will still have your crisp image now. It won't bleed and muddy. So you're going to have like some tutorials and things that show us all about this. Yes. You said this is coming out around May? Yeah, April 1st. Oh, April. Oh. April 1st. That's exciting. This is the Glass A collection. Um, created and designed for Ann Butler to promote for us. So I've put Ann Butler's name on it because I will have zero time to promote. Okay. Um, she also has her own paper line that just came out. And so we're going with that. Okay. That's exciting. What a fun new product. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim. Thank I you. I really Alice. love seeing the stuff. It's so creative. It's really fun to work with and it's really good quality. So I've loved using it. I've loved playing with it. And I know that if people want to get creative, that's going to be what you're looking for too. Perfect. Well, thank you, Alice. Thank you, everybody. Again, we wouldn't do this if you have been here for the years that we've been doing it for. So awesome. This is Alice Bull from ScrapHappy.org at Creativation 2020 with Kim Evans at the Emerald Creek Crafts booth. Two, three.